What is going on world? I'm Leslie from Aiken Nation TV, the network, the one channel on YouTube where we actually adopt similar connections despite our differences and I am here to talk about the challenge, the latest episode. I know that I missed two episodes. We had two phenomenal fucking episodes last week and I missed them both. I actually watched them, but I couldn't upload a review because my computer was conking out on me and I was actually in fear of my computer's or for my computer's life because I'm like, if I lose my computer, if my computer dies, then my YouTube dies, my channel dies, because I don't have six grand to replace my equipment like that. And that's how much my equipment costs. But I've had my equipment since 08, so it's pretty old. <laughs> but it's a max, so it's been getting me through all of, you know, all of these issues. But this is what happened. My RAM died. It, like, burned out. Like, apparently I had four gigs of RAM that I was working with for a minute for since I bought it. But then it switched to two gigs and I can't run FCP on two gigs, which is Final Cut Pro, which is what I edit with. I can't run it on two gigs because the four gig RAM program. So everything on my computer was running really, really deathly slow. And mind you, I hadn't been using it like that for a good month. So I don't, it happened. It's been a while since my shit has been burned out. But I did an update on, on FCP and FCP was like, look, I need some more RAM to work. Long story short, I bought RAM, so my computer's working, and everything seems to be fine. So I'm back giving you videos, hence the four videos that I just uploaded the other day. But I missed two episodes, y'all, and a lot has happened. Dario and Rafi are gone, and Nicole and Nani are gone. Good riddance to Nicole and Nani. I'm not really fans, but Dario and Rafi were looking, starting to look cute. And I like the alliance that Mitch and um, Mitch, Corey, Thomas, Steven, and Dario and Rafi had. I was feeling that alliance because they were against the vets. And, you know, always the vets are teaming up against the rookies because they're new. So we can team up against the rookies, which is just bullshit. That doesn't make any sense. It's just fucking dumb. All of their decisions should always be based on performance. And if veterans are that much of a vet, they need to perform. So if you perform well, your ass won't get fucking put in. That, I mean, that's how I feel that all the voting should always go. But it never goes that way. So when things got a bit crazy when Nani and everybody banned to put Dario and Rafi in, well the vets anyway, then it came up to Anissa to have to be the determining uh, vote. So Corey goes and try to get Anissa to, you know, stick on his side and I'm like, why would she do that when you basically told your, your bloodline that I'm just here to play the game, I'm not really stunting this shit, blah, blah, blah. Here you are kissing and wine or whatever, and you know, things don't work out, but you tell your bloodline this, now you need her to get your vote. I like Corey and all, very fucking attractive guy, but that was bullshit. And Anissa, if you would have had to side with Corey, that would have been bullshit too. So I'm thinking to myself, Anissa, you did the smart move. Stick for people that will have your fucking back, okay? I can't really say that Johnny would have anybody's fucking bag. Look what happened to Nani, okay? But before we get to the demise of Nani and Nicole, or eyebrows as I like to call her, I just want to go, ah, wipe that shit all the way off. Ah, do the other one. And give us some goatee here. Girl, I hate when girls do that. That shit looks so fucking dumb. But, you know, I like the fact that Dario wasn't scared of, Dario or Rafi, I don't know which one it was, they both weren't scared of Vince and uh, Bananas when they rolled up on him. I thought it was, I thought it was about to be your bro. I thought it was about to be your bro. And I think it's about to be like, Corey, don't get in the mix because I don't want you to go home yet. It's already, you know, Dario and Rafi, their fate is already sealed. But, you know, I'm like, Mitch, going up again, like, Mitch is not going <laughs> to, what is Mitch going to do against Dario and Rafi? That's what I'm thinking. But anyway, they go through the whole challenge, and Mitch is doing really well until he almost falls. And then the twin, he you know, pulls up Raffi, and then the other twin bum rushes them because they thought they won. Long story short, Dario Raffi go home. Then we get Nani and Nicole. Nani ends up going against Kellyanne. Kellyanne and Anissa have some crazy battle. Anissa was being so immature and drunk, and she misses Corey, so she was acting out. Because she was feeling guilty about her decision. But at the end of the day, Corey has a girlfriend and does not want you anyway. So there shouldn't have, there shouldn't have been a reason for you to feel guilty. Like, like, no, there's no reason for you to feel guilty. He knows he has a girlfriend. He knows what he's doing. So let him feel all the guilt. You don't, I, I mean, if you, here's my thing. If Anissa knows the girl, 
that, you know, Corey is going out with, then that's where the problem should come in. Like, if they're cool and they chat and they're besties, then it should be a fucking problem. It should. You know, but other than that, it's up to Corey to be mature and make a grown decision. It was up to Car Maria to make a grown decision and not involve Thomas in the love triangle. It's not Thomas's responsibility to own a to owe Abram anything if him and Abram are not friends. It's not his responsibility. They don't talk. They don't talk on the phone. They don't speak. It's not their responsibility. It's not Thomas's responsibility at all. Now, for them to be on the same team and working around and seeing each other on a daily and all of that, that's when, you know, things can become a bit tricky, you know? Um, I don't know. That's when things become a bit tricky, but Thomas didn't owe Abraham anything. Carl Maria was the person that owed Abraham. But Kellyanne ends up calling, saying you're black skin or some shit, and then Anissa wants to make it racist. I was like, oh, that's dumb. I'm not here for it. Like, Anissa, you were drunk. What are we doing? Like, shut up and apologize. But she apologizes. But anyways, long story short, Nani ends up losing because they have to do 50 laps and push a mattress into a bell. Now, I tried running. Um, uh, the uh, Last night, actually, I went running to see if I could work on the challenge. <laughs> now, I can lift weights. My body, This is all for show. This is all, this is like all for show. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is like all for, you know, for show. But it means nothing. I just like to look a certain way when I'm naked, okay? So for me, when I started running, I'm like, oh my God. And I was doing it, and I was doing it, but I was not dressed prepared. I was not pre I had on thick ass sweats with some shorts and a thermal and a t shirt and a hat. It was cold out, but that's why people run in Daisy fucking Dukes because they pull up so much heat that it doesn't even matter when it's cold. Like, I've been seeing all the white people and like booty shorts and shit and like nothing on and like it, it just be, I'd be like, why are they doing, like, what are they doing? Like, I don't understand. But they have nothing else on. I had so much shit on, number one. Number two, I think I got about half a mile before I started. I need some water. I was like, shit, there's no fucking way. They, they be having to run 10 miles or five miles and shit, up hills and shit, and the ice and shit. I wouldn't be able to do that running shit. I couldn't do that running shit. But I'm like, if I would have dressed appropriately, I think I would have been fine. And if I would have had a bottle of water with me to keep my mouth hydrated, I think I would have been fine. But I, who? But homeboy wanted to do five miles. I couldn't even do two and a half. I couldn't even make it to the two and a half mile run, uh, spot running before I got out. But anyways, anyways, that's neither here nor over there somewhere. But we're going to get into this big ass episode because I feel bad for Abram. I do because he had to see ooh in MTV. Shady, ooh they shady, ooh they shady, don't they? They shady and whoever wrote the script for Zuri Hall. Ooh, they sh ooh, they shady. <laughs> Zuri was like, Abraham, how do you feel about this why? <laughs> oh shit, I'm like, ooh, that was they messy, what they messy. Ooh, look, they messy. I don't know how Car Maria got with Abraham in the first place. Abraham is crazy. Like, how do you scream to the high heavens and make your nose start bleeding? And then you headbutt your brother in the head. Like, what? Then you start bleeding, then you suck your like what? Abraham is crazy. <laughs> oh my god. That is insane. But it's not Thomas's responsibility. It's not. It's all Car Maria's. Anyways. We're going to get into this episode. Car Maria is watching a big belly, um, a big belly Abraham running around. And, you know, Car doesn't want to tell Abraham what's going on because she doesn't want any problems. She's trying to win a game, trying to win a game, trying to win a game, trying to win a game. Johnny wants to tell Abraham about Cara and Thomas. Um, Banana, Johnny Bananas, Banana tells Vince to say something because the alliance can't, that Cara has can be broken up. Vince tells Abram. At first, Abram was like, yeah, whatever. You only want to say this to me because X, Y, Z. And then he's like, well, wait a minute. Why would you say that? Da, 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 da. Well, let me go find out. Let me go ask. When Abraham walks up on Anissa, Stephen, Thomas, and Cara talking, Abraham's like, hey, well, I just heard. 
<laughs> that y'all had something going on. So, what's up? <laughs> and these are like, ooh, shy. This was about to go there. She like, don't look at me, Abraham, because I, you know, my name ain't, ain't been it because I ain't in it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm like, oh, shit, shit about to go on. Carmen is like, what? Nah. They just saying that just, you know, because they, they know we got an alliance and, this, you know, that's the problem. That ain't nothing really happened. <laughs> Tom was like, well, uh, you know, I had wanted to say something, but, uh, yeah, they just, they trying to win. <laughs> they trying to get us fucked up. I'm like, oh shit. But I'm like, Karma Maria, tell him what really, like, come on, like, son, come on. We're going to see this on things, so tell him. Like, you should have said it from jump. As soon as you saw a dude, you should have said it from jump. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you, crazy to me. Like, I don't know. And poor Abraham, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm only saying poor Abraham if he's never cheated or he's never, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the only reason why I'm saying poor Abraham. But I don't know. It seems like. He's really in it to win it for her. But I know every relationship has problems. And I know that in dealing with Abraham, he can be crazy. Like, you can tell he's crazy. So, like, you think Carl Marie would want to... How do, I don't understand how Carl Marie even deals with that. They live on a farm in between a farm and a kickboxing ring. Like, what, Carl Maria? Like, she's been training, I guess. She really wants to win this fucking challenge. I, I don't... I don't... I don't know. But then they moved to the side and Carl Maria was like, yeah, we made sandwiches and I massaged him. And Abraham's like, okay, throw him in the pit. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, okay, Abraham. Yeah, all right. He's like, yeah, if you fucking love me, you're going to throw that bitch in the motherfucking pit. I'm like, oh. Carl Maria's like, but what I had promised him that... <laughs> She's like, I have promised him that, you know, because I, 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 you know, I jerked him off the last time that, you know, I mean, not literally, but, you know, and I'm like, damn, Carl Maria. Abraham was looking like she about to, he, Abraham was like, he about to pop her one. That's what Abraham looked like. He looked like he about to pop her one. Oh, MG, I was, I was fair, I was fearing for, um, Abraham, and I was feeling for, um, Carl Maria and Thomas's life. I'm just saying. Because y'all know that show that's on, what's that show that's called? Um, Tripped or Spazzed Out? What is it called? Um, Spouse Rage or Turn Up or, what's the S? It's with an S. Split. Uh, y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. That show, Psychopath, whatever it's called, that's the vibe I was getting. I was getting all that kind of vibe, okay? Um, Abraham gets up and says, uh, you guys are lying. Vince smiles. Um, shit hits the fan on the bus. Okay, this is when the new guy on the bus. Abraham's feeling some sort of way. Abraham decides to out Stephen and Thomas for making false promises to the group. And I'm like, when did... When? I don't... do. I didn't recall. I don't recall seeing any of this. Um... And then we get a, a commercial, not a commercial, not really a commercial, but we get a scene where Abraham is being held by security because Abraham wants to go watch the screening with Car Maria. And I'm like, oh shit, what's going? This is the after show. Oh shit, this is crazy. This is like really, really, this is really, really crazy. Then Boom comes out or Booth comes out and tells you know Abraham to calm down. Now I don't know if Booth knows martial arts or something, but soon as Booth come out or Boom, whatever his name was. He's like, all right, sir, I got you, no problem, sir. I just, you know, I just want to watch it with her, sir. I understand. I'm like, that producer needs to come on the Bad Girls Club. Get fuck out of here. They need to terminate that lesbian producer. That's what needs to happen. Um, Anissa disqualifies herself during the, during the, you know, during the challenge. Mitch freaks out. He drops. Um, Corey flies through because that's my baby daddy. Red team wins because Car Maria goes through. And Car Maria was thinking that maybe she shouldn't and just drop. Whatever, she goes through. Uh, Mike throws his name in the hat. That's Abraham's brother. And everybody calls out Stephen Thomas to go in. Okay. Um, the challenge name was called Home Wrecker. And if that is not the best name to lead into a motherfucking challenge, I don't know what is. That was. It was insane. It was insane. And all they had to do was destroy all that stuff in the room and just, you know, throw it through the hole. And, and Mike won. Steven was an embarrassment. He couldn't even, he couldn't even get, I don't know what he got through. But that shit was embarrassing. He couldn't even throw, he couldn't even, 
Do the sledgehammer, bro. Like, lift that shit up and with all your might. Like, you know what I'm saying? Anyways. Anyways. But this after show. God damn this after show. I'm, like, really fearful of Carmaria's life. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, is he gonna... Is he gonna go ham? Like, Thomas. Ooh, Thomas was shook. Ooh, Thomas was shook. Thomas looked good, though. <laughs> I don't know where them looks came from. He looked good. And Johnny Berlanta sitting there rubbing it in. Like, how are you just going to allow this dude to come on the show and you're just going to not say nothing and everybody knew and, oh, my God, you should have said something. Bananas is, bananas is a bitch. Bananas is a bitch for putting Nani in because he didn't want his girlfriend to feel some sort of way. Like, if, if your girlfriend is with you, she knows what you do. She knows what you're capable of and how conniving you are. You wouldn't have had, you didn't have to put Nani into nothing. Like, what, what, what is wrong with you? Anyways, that shit was, that shit was fucked. That shit should have, I mean, everybody should have known the type of dude that Johnny was way in the beginning. Ooh, when CT comes back. Ooh, when CT comes back. When CT comes back with a member from, um, DM's bloodline. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. CT comes back. Oh my God. Cause you know, CT couldn't perform because you know, she had to go and you know, he left with her when she got sick. Oh, that's so terrible. That's so terrible. Rest in peace, Dion. But anyways, let me know what y'all thought about this particular episode. In the last two episodes, they were really, really good. I really, 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 really liked this episode. And Abraham is definitely bringing the drama. Bananas brings the drama. So I guess that's why they keep getting casted. Mind you, they don't have regular jobs. Or at least a lot of them don't have regular jobs. Let me just say that. Um, but I don't know. I can't wait for uh, CD to come back on. Because Vince is trying to holler at him for, for some insane reason. And I'm not understanding why. But, um, leave your comments below the video. I was it from Make Connection TV. Deuces! Before we started, just introducing extra things. Okay. So this is completely like your your site. Like, it's this not is ran my, through a third party. No. This um, is your site launched by you. It's launched by me, creative by me. And you have actual design. <laughs>